All right, welcoming you to Cardio Flow for the care of Waldenstroms. You're here with a group of 15 or so fellow Waldenstroms friends who have come in all states of being. Some of us are tired, some of us are energized, some of us have had a rough night's sleep, right? Some of us are still guzzling our coffee. And I love that, gotta get, gotta get going. So this class, uh, you know, it's really interesting. I had put a poll in our um, recording email that I sent out last week. Does this class help with your fatigue? And you can guess that the reason why I'm even starting this sentence is because yes, this class helped 75% of the people who answered the poll help them with their fatigue. Some folks said, oh, not really sure can't really say some other people said sometimes a couple people said no I'm not holding that against them um, but the majority of folks who answered the poll said this class helped with their fatigue so we're looking to gather anecdotal evidence from the people that we know in our Waldenstrom circle um, as to whether physical activity like this class helps with fatigue so I I'm just put planting that seed for you so we can kind of become aware of our energy levels and how they may fluctuate based on what we're doing, based on what kind of a night's sleep we had. Um, and so I I'm, I'm taking this topic rather seriously. You can see I have a shirt that says, get obsessed, stay obsessed. I am getting obsessed with this topic of gathering anecdotal evidence but I will tell you this is actually one of my father's maxims and he had these little sayings as we were growing up and he would just drop them all the time what's the homework situation was one of them get obsessed stay obsessed because he was a runner and um, very very intense intensely into training um, so yes I am kind of in honor of my dad wearing this shirt today and hoping that we can plant the seed of doing activity to help with fatigue. And then also I will give you a rest pose at the end of this, just as important as the activity, right? Maybe even more so. So we'll integrate all of the movement and all of the poses and all of the strength training with a little bit of rest at the very end. So thank you to Joyce for um, her feedback on that. She was like, that was a really good idea. Let's have that. And so we're having that today. Um, I, I have with me two little hand weights. And I have a TheraBand or a little stretchy band you can see right here. So if you have something you could use that would mimic these things, you could grab some soup cans. Right, I have little three pound weights. Um, I got some five pound weights too. I'm gonna work towards those for our classes for myself. But this is just gonna be a medium paced class. And we're gonna, we're, we're gonna work with some cardio, some strength and some balance training. So let's get flowing. Making sure you have everything you need. Also some hydration would be great. All right, so gathering those things you need and coming to join me in a seated posture where you're sitting up tall away from your chair. Now we will start seated. We have the option to move to some standing poses. We'll wind down with seated and then you'll have the option to recline if that's something that you feel safe doing. So we're just gonna start off Warming up head to toe, I'm gonna to start in seated posture and I'm going to take a big breath in and lift my arms up. Exhale, arms out and down. Easy breath in, arms rise. Easy breath out, arms out and down. All right, and I'm liking your shirt, Bill. His shirt just says organic on it. I'm guessing that's because he eats a whole lot of organic foods. Let's take three more arm salutes. Breathing in, breathing out, getting the blood, the lymph, and 
the energy moving. It's beautiful. And one more. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, arms down at the sides. And I'm lifting my shoulders up, back, and down, just loosening the shoulders. Arriving in whatever state of being I'm in. And then I'll relax and just relax my left hand into my lap. And I'll bring my right arm out to the side. My right arm out to the side. And I'm going to bring lots and lots of space between my fingers so you can see a nice wide space between my fingers. And then I'll curl my fist around my thumb and drop the knuckles down. So let's inhale, open the palm nice and wide. Exhale, fist under. That's good. And one more like that. Inhaling. You got it, Nancy. And dropping those knuckles towards the earth and then relaxing the hand down. And we'll try the other side. So lifting that left arm out to the left. You could be standing, you could be seated, whatever feels good. Lots of space between the fingers. And then I'm curling my fist around my thumb and dropping the knuckles down. Breathing in, lots of space, widen the palm. Breathing out, nice wrist stretch. And last one, big breath in and breath out. All right, relaxing that arm down. I'm going to bring my right arm back out to the right where I had it. And I'm just going to tilt my left ear to my left shoulder. Can I let this left shoulder relax? And I'll begin to circle my palm. Circling my palm. And that palm can get lower and lower. Moving the palm down little by little. Not forgetting to breathe. And then I'm going to bring my arm behind my back. Behind my back and tilt the chin down, looking down at my left shoulder. Letting both shoulders relax, right? So I'm peeking down at my left shoulder and I get a big stretch here for my upper trap muscle, which tends to hold a lot of tension and releasing back to center. I'm switching sides with the left arm out to the left and the right ear towards the right shoulder, circling the palm. Easy breath. Palm moving down little by little. Just going to take it today one breath at a time. Eventually I could tuck the arm behind my back, spin my chin down, take a few easy breaths here. Both shoulders relaxing as I peek at my right shoulder. And then resetting back to center. And let's take a little bit of a wider stance. I'm in my seat here. You could be seated. You could be standing. Whatever feels good. And I'm going to start to move my body, my upper body, in a circular motion, right? If you're standing, you could maybe just move the hips like you have a hula hoop, right? You could do a hip circles. You got it, Beth. Torso circles, making whatever movement the body is asking for. You got it, Jill. It's nice. And we're moving in the other direction, nice and slow. Gonna have trouble keeping up with you today, Ginger, I think. I'm feeling lots of good energy coming from you. Yes. All right, and we're coming our, making our way back to center, back to center, and I'm going to reach my right arm up and over. So I'm exposing my right rib cage, and I'm taking a breath in. I'm getting a little bit taller through the fingertips, and then releasing back to center. Inhaling that left arm up and over. Really getting tall. You got it, Edith. That's beautiful. Coming back to center, we'll just flow a little bit. Breathing in, right arm reach over to the left, 
Breathing out, coming back to center. Inhale, left arm lift. That's good. And stretching those little muscles between the ribs, which can get really inelastic as we age and can actually reduce our ability to take a good deep breath. I'm going to do one more on each side for good measure. Up and over. Both feet rooted down. Both hip bones, sit bones rooted down. And then I'll come back to the center. Open the arms out to the sides. And bring those arms back. Lift the heart so I'm stretching my chest here. And then I'll give myself a hug. And I'll just tuck my chin and breathe into the upper back. Two bountiful breaths. All right, and then I'm releasing, relaxing, and stepping my feet back to center and stepping my feet out. So I'm just walking my feet in and out a few times with a nice, stable core. Walking in, walking out, whatever would feel good, just listening to your body. All right, see if you can avoid leaning, right? Keep that torso nice and upright. And you'd be doing so much work, more work with that. And last time, I'm going to come to center. And I'm just going to stretch my right leg out and give my ankle a few little circles with the right leg lifted. Good, left leg lifted. A few little ankle circles. And then we're going to add the TheraBands. If you have a TheraBands, and if you don't, that's okay. You can still do this. I'm going to grab my TheraBand and I'm just going to hook it around my right forefoot, lengthening my right leg long. And I'm pumping the foot down towards the earth. So there's a little bit of resistance. Pumping that foot down towards the earth with my breath. Right? Or you could just do straight up foot pumps. Doesn't really matter if you have the TheraBand. But one of our um, chair yoga friends suggested this. So I'm incorporating a little extra. And then when you're ready, you can switch it up to the other side. Switching it up to the other side. That left leg is straight, heel on the earth. Pressing my foot either within or without my TheraBands, down towards the earth. Getting a really juicy foot pump here. Right, so just creating a little resistance if it feels doable to you and there's no pressure. You could do it without the TheraBand too. And then we're just going to release that strap. We'll come back to it. So I'll just place it on the back of my chair. And I'm going to grab my, just one of my weights with a wider stance. I'm going to do some bicep curls. I'm going to get, a, I've been getting obsessed with bicep curls. And I'm doing a low weight, but more reps. Um, I have three pound weights. I might be graduating to five pound weights soon. So I'm going to start with the, the weight in my right hand and I'm just going to keep that arm flush to my body and I have a little wider stance so the arm has somewhere to go and I'm going to do about 20 of these just finding my breath and moving my mind to my bicep muscle feeling that strength as it contracts All right, getting close guys. Let's do about five more. Um, some of us might have hand stuff going on. Right? So this might feel like not so comfortable and there are soft weights that you can get. All right, I'm gonna do one more 
and then switch it up. Switching to the other side. Weight in my left hand, arm is flush to my body. I don't have to have like a super firm grip. I don't have to grip as hard as I possibly can. My, my goal is the bicep contracting. Finding my breath, right? And if you have a heavier weight, maybe you do less. If you have a lighter weight, maybe you do the same, about 20. And we're gonna do another set of these when we're standing a little bit later. All right, I think we're about five away. You can see this is not an exact science for me, talking and doing and counting at the same time. All right, beautiful, my friends. We'll take those bicep curl weights down. And I'm gonna open my arms out again. I'm gonna give my chest a little stretch here. Arms back, chest lifted. And then I'm interlacing my fingers and I'm just gonna pull my arms away from my body a little bit. You got it. So breathing in, opening wide. And then as you exhale, interlace the fingers and it's a really subtle little movement. Just pulling the arms away from the body. That's good. And we're gonna do one more opening. Interlace. And this time, instead of pulling away, I'm gonna press my palms away from the body and juice up my fingers. Juice up my fingers, and then I'll just roll my wrists in a figure eight. Rolling my wrists and shaking things out. And then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go for a little walk here, a seated walk. And I'm gonna feel the strength of my core here as I do opposite arm, opposite leg. And again, my goal is not to sort of tip from side to side. I'm finding my breath. I might even rest my gaze or lower my gaze towards the earth. See if I could take three breaths. You've got it, Bill. Beautiful. All right, and then I'm taking a moment here. And I'm going to scoot to the very back of my chair. Scooting to the back of my chair. And we're going to do a little core work here. So if you are not sitting and you would like to, you could transition to sitting. And I'm going to lift both legs up. I'm squeezing both legs towards each other. I'm sitting up really tall. I can feel the tops of my legs working. I'm pulling my belly towards my spine, taking a big breath, and then softening the legs down and scooting forward a little bit in my chair. Scooting forward a little bit. This is gonna be a little bit harder, so I'm gonna hold onto my chair. I'm gonna lift both legs. I'm gonna squeeze my legs towards each other. I'm gonna lift my heart. Tuck my chin, find one big breath here, and then relax it down, maybe rub the tops of the legs, that's a lot of work. So you could stay at that placement on the chair or you could come forward a little bit more as long as you feel safe. And it's a little more work to balance in the chair here, so I might hold on to my chair, sitting up nice and tall, squeezing the legs towards each other. Easy breath. All right, that is a lot of work. And then relax the legs down. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna be doing some research about restless leg syndrome. One of our friends here has had a very um, challenging night experiencing that. So um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be asking around and looking into that. So hopefully we get some good feedback. Let's come forward to the edge, the very, very edge of the chair. We're going to transition to a standing posture if it's something you feel like you're up to today. 
Right? So my transition, I'm never in a hurry. Never in a hurry. And in fact, I might want to practice getting up just a little bit and then coming right back down. Getting up a little bit and coming right back down. And as I do this, I might want to notice my glute muscles working, my pelvic floor muscles lifting me. That's good, Anne. And maybe this last time I can just come all the way to stand and walk it out, dance it out, get yourself a sip of water. Right, and if you need to stay seated today, that is an option. That's always an option. Always an option. So let's get our feet into the mix here. Many of us caring for a peripheral neuropathy in the feet. I want to tend to all the joints in the body. Little bit of movement in a lot of places. So let's go ahead and see if we can send these messages to our toes. Lifting all 10 toes, spreading them really wide and digging them back down. Try that again with me. Inhale, lift all 10 toes, spread them wide, even in shoes, dig them back down. And one more like that, lift and spread and dig. All right, here's the challenge. Big toes pressing, little toes lifting. Little toes pressing, big toes lifting. And going back and forth, asking your toes to be a little more dexterous and if they're not able to, you can visualize this and we'll work towards this little by little. Okay, now option to come up onto the tiptoes and relax down. I'm holding onto my chair. That's good, Jill. Honoring your body. Lifting up onto the tiptoes. Coming back down. Maybe if you're seated, you just Lift those heels up off the earth. Get the calves moving. Right, if you're standing and you're working towards finding the edge of your balance, maybe you want to involve the arm or arms. If you feel safe with both arms floating up and down. Let's do three more calf raises. Really, really a great exercise for improving balance and for helping with peripheral neuropathy. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to grab my TheraBands again. I'm going to take this TheraBands in my hands with the palms facing up. I've got my arms flush to my body, and the TheraBand is about shoulder width distance apart here. And I'm just going to pull the TheraBand apart and relax back to center. So breathing here. I'm working my rotator cuff in either shoulder. That's good. You got it. And then you can always widen out if it feels too hard, or you can come a little closer if it feels too easy. And you can just do this motion even if you don't have a TheraBand. And you can still exercise that muscle. That's good. All right, I'm going to relax for a moment. I'm going to take a little counter pose here. I'm going to bring the Strap straight out in front with a nice wide distance between the hands. And I've also stepped my feet apart a little bit. I'm going to lift the arms up overhead. And I'm just going to flow a little bit from side to side. Right? It's nice to have a body that can move. So I'm going to enjoy the sensations in my body wherever I can feel them. The ribs, the hips, the lower back. You got it, Lois. We're flowing from side to side. One more on each side. And then we'll come back to center. I'm going to bring that TheraBand into my hands again the way I originally had it, palms facing up. And I have brought my feet back together a little bit. And now I'm going to combine two movements. So I'm going to sink down into my knees and bring my hips back 
and I'm really using those glute muscles. And then as I stand up, I'm going to pull the TheraBand apart. So I'm inhaling, sinking down, exhaling, pulling it apart. Breathing in, maybe I go a little lower, breathing out. Good, maybe it's just the arm portion I'm working on today. Inhale, exhale, keep those arms close to the body. Breathing in, that's right, Gordon, flush to the body, palms facing up. All right, and then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna hold here in this little chair pose with the belly pulling towards the spine. My feet are pressing into the earth and pressing apart from each other. My chin is tucked. I'm really building some strength here in my glutes and my legs. One more breath. And then come on up, toss this band to the side and let's walk it out. Walking in place if you're seated or if you're standing. Walking in place, opposite arm, opposite leg. We might be going at different speeds. You might be lifting higher or lower with your legs. My goal is to just keep doing this, get my heart rate lifted a little bit more. So I can also breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Let's go ahead and take that TheraBand. No, let's take the bicep, uh, the weight into this, uh, into one hand here. So I'm going to be stepping my right foot forward and my left foot back at an angle. I've got the weight in my left hand. I could be holding onto my chair and I'm sinking into this right knee. And as I straighten the right knee, that hand comes down. So I'm doing a bicep curl and a little lunge at the same time. Lunging into my right leg, bicep curl at the same time. It's beautiful. Squeeze that left glute muscle as you come into that lunge, little warrior one lunge. All right, now I'm going to stay with my knee bent and I'm going to hoist my weight overhead. I'm going to do a few little shoulder lifts here with my breath. Two more. All right, and then we're stepping that left foot forward, bringing that right foot back. And I've got my weight in my right hand this time. And as I lunge into my left knee, I'm curling the bicep towards my collarbone, straightening and bringing the arm down and lunging and lifting, right, moving at my own pace. As I lunge, I'm squeezing that right glute muscle. You've got it. It's beautiful. All right, Mike, getting really strong in those arms. You got it, Susan. So bring the palm towards the heart. Yep. For one more. And then I'm going to keep my, I'm going to turn my weight a little bit and hoist the arm overhead. I'm going to take maybe a total of five little shoulder presses up. Finding my breath. You got it. Last one. And then taking my weight down for a moment and taking a stretch. So I'm walking both feet back or I'm doing a forward fold if I'm seated in my chair, right? I could just lean forward, taking care not to round my back. If I have osteoporosis, osteopenia, I'm gonna avoid aggressive rounding of the back. 
but even that may be safe for me depending on a lot of things. So it's hard to just give a blanket statement like that. All right, and then we're coming up nice and slow. And I'm gonna take a moment to dial into a little bit of balance work, a little bit of balance work. So to get there, I'm gonna bring my feet together and I have my chair here right at my side. My feet are together. And I'm gonna close my eyes and just notice what the feet feel like on the earth. Maybe there's some diminished sensation in the feet. Noticing what you can without judgment. Sending an anchor down into the earth. And then when I'm ready, I could open my eyes and I'm stepping my left foot in front of the right. So I have heel to toe. I'm on an imaginary balance beam and I'm just going to soften my knees a little bit. I'm not going to walk on my balance beam. I'm just hovering here and I'm working towards finding my edge, right? So I might take both hands off the chair and I've got one foot in front of the other heel to toe. Pulling my belly towards my spine. If this is really easy for you, try closing the eyes. See what that does. Weight is equal in both feet. You got it. Let's take one more breath here. And then we'll just walk it out a little bit between sides. Maybe you're seated, maybe you're standing. You're doing awesome, Jill. All right, and then let's go ahead and come to those feet together. Feet together, send your anchor down, down, down. And then we'll step the left foot in front of the right. Soften the knees, weight is in both feet. And if I'm seated for this, I can visualize this. taking a little tightrope walk in my mind's eye. Maybe I even close the eyes for that. Find a few breaths. Just notice how this side feels right? without judgment. And then when you're ready to step out of it, step out of it. It's beautiful. Walk it out. And as I walk in place, I'm going to start to slow my walk down. Almost as if I'm in like a little freeze frame here. A little slow motion. I always think of the six million dollar man, you know, and that really dates me, but he had this little slow motion that had this sound effect that went with it that was like a ch 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 ah, 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 So I might hover and I might stay balanced on one leg in my walk. And it's so helpful to have that opposite arm as counterbalance. It's a beautiful bath. Really nice, guys. You got it. One more on each side. That's it. All right. One more time, grabbing my, my friend, the band. You maybe have one, maybe you don't. You can still do this. You could do this seated. I'm going to take a little space between my feet and I'm going to circle my hips. If you're seated, you could do those torso circles we did at the beginning. Just doing a little hip circle. And then I'll bring my arms straight out in front shoulder height, lots of space. My toes are pointed out to the sides a little bit. And as I sink into my knees, my knees and my toes are pointed in the same direction, pulling my belly towards my spine. It's very strong through the legs. And then I'm going to pull the, the strap across my chest. Let's see if I messed up my mic there. Good. And then as I straighten, I'm going to release, sink and pull. Breathing. 
make any changes. So you notice my arms are straight. That might mean you walk out to the end of your band to straighten the arms. That's good. I'm getting a good little stretch, good little strengthening across my chest. And I might come down one last time and hold here. So strong through the legs. One big breath. And then coming up and one last time, I'll do some side bends. Waking up my spine. One more on each side. You've got it. And then let's take both weights. I'm going to do it one last thing with my weights, or maybe two things. So I'm simply going to stand with my weights in my hands. And those weights are going to pull my shoulders down away from my ears. And I'm just going to tilt my head from side to side. So I have the added benefit of a little bit of weight. So I feel this stretch, just a neck stretch with weights. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more inhale and exhale. Beautiful, and then I'm getting into fighting mode. I have a nice wide stance, and I'm just punching from side to side, nice and slow. Maybe there's a little squat in the middle. Get obsessed, stay obsessed. And maybe that thing you do every day which has the most consequence, the most result, the thing you do every day. Maybe that thing you do every day is getting up and taking five breaths before you do anything. Could be that simple. All right, one more on each side. And then let's retire the weights. I'm gonna do a shoulder stretch here and we'll begin to wind down. So I'm gonna bring my right arm straight out in front. Scoop underneath with the left arm, draw the arm across the body. Keep that right shoulder nice and low. Taking a breath in, breath out. My right arm is straight. Got it, Nancy. And then switching it up, left arm straight out in front. Scoop underneath, draw the arm across, shoulders nice and low. That's good, Susan. And I'm breathing into that upper back. And then relaxing and just letting my arms swing. I might even kind of really let some space open up into my fingers into my elbows, into my shoulders. I could get a little kooky, get a little crazy here if I want. Really let all of those burdens just drip off the ends of my fingertips. Be gone. All right. And then I'm gonna reset my seat here and I'm gonna practice coming to sit really slowly so I can almost pretend I'm taking an elevator down, taking an elevator down little by little by little, and using all the strength that I just built, coming to sit. And that's good, last one seated, seated win, seating wins. The last one seated was Susan today. Susan, you win. A round of applause, yes, a round of applause. <laughs> so let's take that right ankle over the left knee. If this feels doable to you, if not, you can modify it. 
And I'm just going to reach my heart forward till I feel the amount of sensation that feels right for me. Perhaps I feel it in my right hip. I'm going to let both shoulders relax. Could tuck my chin down. Could take a couple breaths here. And then coming up to sit. And you cross that knee all the way over. So the right knee nestling on top of the left. I'm going to take my torso with my arms wide, twisting to the right side, and then letting the arms drape down, staying in my twist. So I'm twisting my torso really gently to the right side, taking one big breath. and relaxing back to center. Bringing the left ankle over the right knee. If it feels really good, you can always stay longer, right? Got that left ankle over my right knee and I'm leaning forward, nice flat back, relaxing my shoulders, tucking my chin, finding a few breaths, a few easeful breaths here. Coming back up to sit when you're ready. Crossing the knee over, arms wide, big breath. And twisting to the left with those knees nestling. You can drop the arms down, keeping your twist strong to the left. And relaxing back to center. Take one more big stretch. And then we'll close our session with a, a period of rest, uh, maybe a one minute period of rest where we're doing nothing. I am doing nothing. And so this might be something you want to do lying down. I see some of you are actually already there. You heard the word rest and you're like, boop, that's me. That's what I need today. So I'm going to take a moment and just find a way to be really comfortable here whether it means I'm coming onto my couch or my floor or even my bed. And I've got a little support here for underneath my knees. And you might have some support for underneath your head. And if you're seated, you could take a pillow into the lap and rest your hands on that pillow. And I'm just going to close my eyes here and I'm going to gradually let go of effort throughout my body, starting with the base of the skull. So I'm taking a breath in and letting the base of my skull and my neck relax down to my shoulders, my arms, which work so hard today, letting both arms be heavy. Allowing the whole spine to sink. Letting the hips soften, sink. Both legs are relaxed. Letting the legs drain of effort. Letting the feet drain of effort. Just feeling this whole body, this whole body is just part of me, part of me, this physical container. So I could let the physical container rest. I am doing nothing. Notice where your body wants to keep working and just give your body that gentle reminder. You can let, you can let go here. You can let go and just take some breaths. And 
And if you're feeling really good resting, you could stay resting as long as you like. If you'd like to begin to move towards a seated posture, if you're not already there, you could stretch the arms. Right? Maybe if you're seated, you could stretch the arms as well. I could wiggle my fingers, my toes. I could roll onto one side if I'm reclining. I could push my way up. I'm not in any hurry, right? And I could eventually come back to a seated posture if I've been reclining. If I feel good where I am, I'm going to stay where I am. And I want to thank you so much for taking such exquisite care of yourself today. We'll have a Yoga Nidra session this Sunday. And that is a guided relaxation practice with singing bowls. And then we'll go back to chair yoga. Our next cardio flow class, if that's what you're interested in, is, in, is on October 6th. So please feel free to email me, Ann Grace, A-N-N Grace, at IWMF.com. If you want to um, come to more classes or you've got any concerns or questions, I'm here when you need me. Thanks so much, guys.